Um, I'm just going to be doing a pink fantasy look today. Um, I still have yet to get my eyebrows on. I just put a lipstick on right now because it gives some color to my face. But um, I need to put on my eyebrows and I'll be back in just a second. And we're going to put on like a really pretty pink fantasy look. It's going to come out of this palette I got from Amazon. Um, I can put a link in the... <laughs> Um, bio or um, about in the video is really pretty. Um, it, if I recommend it, I'll put the link down. Um, so we'll see if it's very pigmented. And um, I have to get my eyebrows on and we'll get started with it. So, Alright, I hope you enjoy. with doing my eyes um I need to um sponge this a little bit more on my eyes and get this foundation or primer out my okay bye I gotta fix this okay um I'm back um I was just gonna put that hair back there um we are gonna get started with my eyes my life doesn't stop I see that all right, so here we go for nothing. I take a photo first. Pink Fantasy. Um, I really like this color, this coloring palette. Um, it's really pretty. So um, we may as well just start dive into it. Um, I need to open it. So um, yeah, find. I don't know. I need to like charge or something. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think I might just use my teeth. That didn't work for that at all. Okay. Open up this beautiful palette of colors. I don't think I'm gonna be working in these shades today. This isn't part of the palette. I don't think I will be working in it. I am going to be working in only this palette, and I hope it's really pretty. So we're gonna try it out. Um, I am going to start with a wet and wild brush um it's quite it's not too big but it's for to work around here and up and then we'll go in with a smaller brush um this didn't show what colors there are but i think i'm gonna go with like i want to go with this like kind of hot pink right here it's not a shimmer but it's a matte so let's see how it goes There is some fallout, but let's see if this has pigment. I'm gonna go with this eye. We're gonna go outward. Oh. Go like this. Um. I'm gonna look in my mirror. This does have pretty good Meh. The ingredients have like talc in it. I mean, which is not like really health conscious, but this totally does not go well with, with my outfit. But it's like creates a great pigment. So we'll go on the other eye. My eyes, my eyebrows are so bushy, but um, whatever. I was born, I was born. I really love this color. I'm going to keep like blending in to the brow. We're going to go all the way in. And I don't really have hooded eyes. I don't think. But 
I like to go out with my with my eyeshadow. Um It's nice, uh, I like it. Okay. I was thinking of going with like an orange in the middle with a small brush. So I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with the shimmer over here. So see that there's some fallout. I'm gonna go with this orange here. See if it's a good color. Ooh, there is pigment. There is pigment. Okay, let's see. This was only $10. Oh my god, there's pigment. I am just putting on makeup because I'm trying all these different colors. I don't know. Oh, honey, this is so, so much. Let's see if we can blend it. I need to blend up here a little bit. Now I look like a orange flamingo. I'm gonna call this the flamingo look. Oops. Oh well. This is definitely a flamingo, but it's very, um, Pigmented. I really like it. Wow. It's pigmented. I think I'm going to go all the way down with this. I don't really like to go with more than like four colors in my like eyeshadow. I'm going to clean this eyeshadow off my brush. Alright. This might need it's starting to fade I don't know if maybe I didn't apply enough yeah I didn't apply enough just even getting my hair we are definitely flamingo. And then I was thinking um, of maybe going like with maybe a fuchsia underneath. I'm not sure. I don't think I want to go with that. Maybe gold. I don't know. I'm going to try this nice light color inside my inner corner of my eye. Let's see what I can do. And just blend. It's like a silver. I do like this palette. It's nice. I think it's better than the Sephora one. I haven't tried the purples. Um, I think I'm going to try maybe a little bit of purple, the fuchsia. So, for my, there is fall. So, the inner corner of my eye, I did this color. And then I did this orange kind of color. And then this matte pink, hot pink. And I was thinking of going with this fuchsia underneath my eye right here. But this fallout is not too bad. It's pretty decent. Like, it's not terrible. So we're going to go with this fuchsia. Make sure I apply enough. And we're going to go under. This, we are not going to put any eyeliner on. I'm going to go out with it underneath. Oh my god. So pretty. Go. Mm. It doesn't go with my outfit, but I just want to try a purple out, and we're gonna keep going. And then 
blend. Um, this is definitely pink fuchsia, whatever you want to call it. There is some fallout. We just take a big brush and flick it off. Okay, I want to go in with the eyeliner and start putting on my eyeliner. This is like really pretty. Um, let's see here, let's get started with the eyeliner. I think I'm going to do a cat eye or something like that, very simple. And then put on my uh, eyelashes and my falsies and then do some like pink contouring and just look like a Barbie doll. Oh, let's I don't really like going very big with my eyeliner. Um. This toy like reminds me of like Jeffree Star at times. Because I know he loves the color pink. It's like his favorite. Um. But I really like pink myself too. I think it's really pretty. And we're going to apply on this side. A little and over the eyelashes a bit. You want to stay as close to the end of the eyelid because if you don't, it looks like crap. I always have trouble with my left more than my right because I am right-handed. Um, but there shouldn't be issue because I just take more practice. That's just all. I go out a little bit more with this side. We can make this a little thicker um, with the eyeliner. Add some volume to your eyes. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to go with the eyelashes now. Start to change the eyelashes. I don't know what you think of my eyes, but you can like leave a comment or something. Like, I don't know why my thing is disabled right now, but we'll get that fixed. It's so pretty. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to go with our Wet n Wild eyelashes. And apply them with my favorite glue. I'm going to get them on right now that started so I'm gonna pause this video and um, continue after my eyelashes are on okay sounds good again um, I was unable to open up the bronzer so I'm going to go with my backup bronzer um, it's called flash me it's wet and wild hello halo um, it's blush lighter and it's a blush lighter highlighter and a blush I'm really sad I can't use my bronzer but whatever so we are gonna go with the highlighter first and then the blush so I'm gonna apply it 
on my beautiful brush. It's kind of like a fan. So we're going to go from the top to bottom. And we're not going to go all the way down. We're going to go like around here. And just fan out upward. And we go again. Make sure you get those that high cheekbone right there. And fan out. And we're going to get a touch of the nose a little bit. And a touch of the forehead. And we'll go, let's see, a little bit more. In my hair. I already have a tiny forehead. So I don't really need it as much as some women. And then, or men, because makeup is not just for women. And then I'm gonna go with the blush, and we're gonna go a little bit on top. Make sure we get enough. It is not showing. Oh, there it show a little bit. I think we need to go with a, a lot pinker. So I'm going to actually go into the eyeshadow and use it for blush. We are going to go with that. We are going to actually not go with that hot pink because it's a little too much. But um, we're going to go with that maybe fuchsia. No, I'm not going to go with that. It's not good. This one right here. It's underneath the fuchsia. It's really pretty. So we're going to go with that one. And we're just gonna like go like this a little bit, a little bit here, and apply again. We're not gonna leave it like this. This is just like blah. I'm gonna put some more because this is not as pigmented. And we're gonna get our fan brush and we're gonna fan it out. It is not showing a lot of pigment when you blend, which is like okay. Uh, it's cute. Um, this is like gonna be my finished look for the pink fantasy. I don't know what you think of it. I think it's really pretty. I think um my eyelash is falling off. That's what I think. We're like push it in a little bit. Oh, that just made it worse. Well, probably people think it was bad, but I'm going to reapply glue and then push it on it. That's much better. Um, with my lips, I kind of like them how they are. But little do you know, I use eyeshadow and lipstick together. So like, I was thinking of going with this really hot pink that I went on with the top. And I usually apply my lipstick if I have it here. It's the Milani 25 Naturally Chic. And it's been used quite a bit, but I apply it over and under. And I usually use a lip liner, but I don't have the right color for it. So, um, just go like this and apply. And we just use it to moisturize and make it a little bit more that color. And then use some more. And then blot. And it's like nice. I don't know. You don't need lip liner for everything, but it does help to have it. But I think this is really nice. And this is my finished look. I hope you enjoy it.